You're Brian Cashman. What's your to-do list? What are you doing right now to make the Yankees better for 2022 and within this tight time frame that has been established because of the delay? Well, the, I mean, the obvious choices are, you know, who's going to play shortstop, right? I mean, that's what everybody wants to know. It's, it, it's nice to talk about first baseman. It's nice to talk about, uh, you know, are they going to trade Luke Voigt? Are they going to sign Anthony Rizzo? Are they going to try to sign Freddie Freeman? Is the acquisition cost for the Oakland A's first baseman, Matt Olson, too high right now? There's so many variables involved in this equation. And we haven't even talked about DJ LeMahieu. How do these pieces fit together for them with, with Glaber Torres moving to second base? Does DJ LeMahieu go back to the super utility role? Is, is he going to be in the opening day lineup? Is he going to be a third baseman? Does Gio Urshela now assume sort of a, a super utility role? So those questions re remain to be answered, but nonetheless, the big glaring hole is a very important position for the Yankees. If you go back and then the players that have played shortstop for the New York Yankees, it's a big deal. You think Phil Rizzuto. I think 1996 when the Yankees gave the job to a young Derek Jeter how big that was for the franchise so yes that that is a that is a very important issue for the Yankees as to who's going to be standing at shortstop at Yankee Stadium on opening day you know when, when opening day does come to Yankee Stadium